Okay, we're going to get ready to create our first PLC project. We're going to click on the Start menu. I like to just start and choose Click. Make sure you're picking the program software. Now when we open this, this screen comes up and we're just going to start a new project. It's going to ask for which processor we have. We're going to look at the processor and we're going to choose the exact one we have on the trainer. Okay. Then we're going to go OK. And now we're ready to create our program. And the first step we're going to do is drag here a normally open contact, hit the three dots. We're going to do two things here. We're going to go to edit mode and we're going to give the name for the device. This is required in your assignments. Green push button and then we're going to click OK and click OK and click OK. Now we see it's there. An alternate way to do it probably is the best way. I'm going to go straight into Address Picker and I'm going to label X2 which is the red push button, X3 which is the black. Normally these are going to be the name of what this does and X4 is the selector switch. Okay. Sometimes we can put comments here that this is a normally closed push button. This is a normally open push button. Okay. And it might have different meanings. So those are the type of things normally open. normally open push button. Now this is a lot like Excel so if you take this and drag it you can take this and make that larger. Okay. Um, left equals off, right equals on. So now we know how that works. We can also choose to do the documentation just on X's. We can go to just the Y's. So Y we're going to name and that's called the green light. Kind of an old English way of spelling that. Light, Y3, yellow light, and blue light. This helps things be much more organized, understandable, and is required for all your assignments. So I'm just going to go OK. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drag the output into there and I'm going to say Y1. And when I put that in, it automatically has that. Then I'm going to go X2 and we see it shows up and so forth. And you're going to follow the process that you've seen. So this is just a review. We use the address picker. We can do it by hitting the dots and then turning on the edit mode or we can go straight to the address picker and put them in to begin with. So that's how you're going to create your program and at the very end you'll have to remember to go down here and get an end statement. So that's how to enter the program and using the address picker to put the nickname and any comments in on the component. We don't see the comments because I haven't selected it. I turn this on and now we see. This helps us troubleshooting knowing what we're dealing with and how it should work. That concludes this lesson. And this ends this video. Thank you for watching.